Welcome back. A family is demanding justice in Lodi tonight after their dog was tased and killed by Lodi police. But police say the dog was on the loose chasing a family with young children. And we want to warn you that some of these images may be disturbing. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera explains. He was loving, a uh, goofy. He was so goofy. That's how Aileen Galeno describes her nearly three-year-old pet husky Enzo, who died at the hands of a police taser. Enzo did not attack anyone. They should have not tased him. It happened Tuesday afternoon, shortly after three. Lodi police say they received a report of a dog chasing a family with young children into their home and trying to bite them. Several blocks from that scene, the dog ended up on this street at Finch Run and Robin Lane. And looked up at the animal control officer and said that he was going to tase him. Presley Quinzer lives right in front of where police tased the dog. In surveillance video images obtained from neighbors, the dog is tased not once, but twice before being dragged to an animal services vehicle. He then died. He was wagging his tail just looking up at him. He could have easily put the snare around his neck. Neighbor Hans Bruch and his 10-year-old daughter witnessed the tasing too. Bruch said it was unnecessary. Animal control should have took control of the situation because he has all the tools to deal with something like that, and he didn't. But people I spoke to here in the neighborhood where the initial incident happened say they've seen the dog here along with two other dogs on many occasions loose running around in their neighborhood. Amber Ramirez says the dog in a pack killed her cat last October. They'd come across the street right over here and then the, the other one would be on the other side and kind of like triggering the cats to come back and forth. But Aileen Galeno says it wasn't her dogs. However, she and her mother do own two other huskies. <laughs> Right now, she wants justice. It's not going to get swept over the, under the rug. The initial scene, a Lodi police say an animal services officer tried to place a snare around the dog twice, but he broke free both times. Police say they were trying to control and secure the dog to protect the safety of the